Welcome to my channel. I am Sharice. I am an author and a creative journaler. And this is my channel. I basically decided to start a YouTube channel because, well, I have some past trauma that I really need to work through. And I'm basically being called to write a memoir about my life and what I've been through so that I could possibly help other people. And in so doing, I have basically needed to start journaling in order to clear some of these blocks that I've been having as a writer in order to get my story out of there. So. I wanted to hold myself accountable basically and make sure that I'm journaling on a regular basis and what better way to hold myself accountable than to start a YouTube channel and hopefully have fans that will keep me accountable. So when I wanted to start this journaling process, I didn't really know what journal to use. I bought this journal last year it's a magic of eye journal it's about the moon phases and all of that I love this journal the problem is is that I bought it whenever it was like already four or five months into the year and I didn't really use it and I didn't want it to go to waste because I really like the cover so I'm using this as my junk journal and everybody junk journals differently I think that that's something that you'll see if you subscribe to a number of people here on YouTube. Um, as far as the supplies go, I will link as many supplies down in the description. But honestly, I really want to use all of the supplies that I currently have on hand. And guys, it's a lot. It's a lot of supplies. <laughs> So I've kind of vowed that I'm not going to buy any more supplies, but um, you guys have to kind of understand that some of these supplies I've had for a few years now. And so even if I tried to find them to link them, they probably wouldn't even be available. So I'll link what I can. Um, but then as far as junk journaling goes, it really, you can use anything. It, it doesn't have to be any supply that you go out and buy. I mean, as long as you have some glue, maybe some paint and just different papers, then you're good to go, to be honest with you. A lot of the other embellishments and ephemera that we get, um, it's really not necessary to make a beautiful journal spread. So some of this I did start off camera and a little later you're gonna see as well. I go kind of out of the frame a little and I really apologize for that. I'm new at this, so I will keep that in check next time. But basically my process here is to figure out like what I wanna write about because it can be about anything and that's really all this is about and so I like to decorate my pages first add like the ephemera and everything and then I'll come back later on and actually write in the journal so it's really a two-step process so when I sit down to actually do my pages um, it's gonna take like a big chunk of time I don't know if I'll ever really record me writing in the pages because this is very personal stuff <laughs> and I mean I do plan on writing a book about my life and everything so some of that may be in there um, but I'll try I'll try to do some videos where I show you what I write about especially if it's not something that's particularly like ultra personal but it really is a place for you to be free to 
express your creativity. And I am not an artist. I didn't grow up as an artist. I don't really practice as far as, you know, trying to make my art better or anything like that. I just kind of go with the flow and just deal with whatever mistakes happen as they come. I don't know if you saw the declaration at the beginning of the journal, but it will be in some um, more shots after here. Real quick, I just want to say that I added this pocket off camera and I also gessoed these pages off camera. And so I'm just showing you that. The declaration is there on the right side. And that actually came from another YouTuber here. Her name is The Unexpected Gypsy. I have linked her channel in that specific video down below. That is a declaration for your journal. I just like the way it was worded. I didn't use the entire declaration because it wouldn't fit, but I do plan on maybe using that later on down the line in some other pages. But what I was saying is it really is like a two-step process and it's something that um, th this part I really do find relaxing. And really what I'm doing is not just decorating the pages, but keeping in mind that I also need to be writing on these pages. And, you know, I can keep either keep space for me to write just on top of the page itself, or I'll create a pocket or I'll tip in a page. And you'll see that here in a moment um, where I can write what I'm feeling and my, and my thoughts and everything like that. Here I have a sticker book that I got off Amazon. I have that link down below. I love the sticker book. It's the antiquarian sticker book and it's the bibliophilia version. They have a few different versions. I actually just got another one in the mail today. So you'll be seeing that in some upcoming videos. And this paper pad is one that I got from Michael's. Oh, I believe it was Joanne's. Maybe it was Joanne's. But um, a lot of this paper came from either Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or Joanne's. You can also get paper off of Amazon. Um, but again, you don't have to use scrapbook paper. I just have a ton of it that I need to get rid of. I just need to go through it. So that is, you're going to see a lot of scrapbook paper in my journal. Um, but you don't have to use scrapbook paper. You can use envelopes that you get in the mail or newspapers or menus. It's really up to you and what you want to do in your junk journal. Just remember that it is a judgment free zone. And I was talking a little earlier about dealing with the mistakes as they come. So you'll see a couple of times in this video, like I had a pen, um, a Posca pen I'll be using here in just a little bit. It kind of explodes on me. And instead of getting upset about it and thinking that it ruined it, I just grabbed a wipe really quick and wiped it up. And it actually smudged a little bit of the paint on the page, but because the page is already so smudged <laughs> and all of that, then it, it looked like it belonged there. And really what I do is tearing the pages or um, gluing them down in ways to make it look like the pages are integrated into, or excuse me, the paper that I'm putting on top is integrated into the page. Like right now, you can see where I tore it. You can kind of see the borders. It doesn't really match. In a moment, I'm gonna get some black gesso and here it is. I'm gonna just kind of go around the borders and just make sure that the, the, what I've added is kind of integrated into the page. It actually looks like it's part of the page. I also take some, well, they're called silky crayons. <laughs> they're from Five Below. 
Um, but they remind me of pastels, and I just, I think that's what they are. They're just pastel crowns, um, or crayons, excuse me. <laughs> um, but I, I'll take those in a minute and kind of use those to rub some color around. Um, and here I'm just adding a little bit of gold paint. And this is just craft paint that you can get at any craft store. You can even get this at Target or Walmart. Um, even Dollar Tree has a lot of these colors so this is a vellum paper that I got a while back at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna go and make a pocket and I realize I'm a little out of frame here um, but basically I just cut it down to size and then folded three of the edges under and then just glued that to the page it's really, really simple to make an envelope. And as long as you don't like cram it full of stuff, it's not gonna come out. You can also staple things or sew them in. Um, I haven't done that yet because <laughs> I don't have a sewing machine and I don't feel the need to sew. I'll most likely end up just stapling or gluing or hot gluing a lot of things into my junk journal, which is just fine. I can't find my stapler though. I'm kind of upset by that <laughs> we just moved about a month or so ago and we still haven't completely unpacked everything and I'm just missing missing my stapler I don't know where it's at so here I wanted to tip in this vellum I was gonna do it on a different page but I thought it would look good on this kind of foresty theme um, I didn't end up cutting it straight, so I will go back in a moment and straighten it up a little bit because it kind of is wonky on one side and, and sticks out of my journal. Um, but again, I, I'll fix that in a moment. But all I'm doing is just taking some washi tape and putting it on one side of the vellum, flipping the vellum over and putting the washi tape down there on the other side. And then I had to cut a little slit on like the top and the bottom to get it to basically open and close without any problems. So for this page, I didn't want to do any painting because painting can be a little bit like, there's a lot of labor involved and it's like, cause you have to clean the brushes afterwards and all of that. I did have some paint out already, but I just didn't want to paint the entire page. So I pulled out that sticker book again and found a page size sticker and decided to use that and then I know I said I'd show you the tip in um, the vellum was one of them but here I'm going to tip in an actual piece of paper for me to be able to decorate on top but then I can flip it up and not only write on the back of that paper but also right there in the middle where there's um, some space and some lines for me to write so again, just whether you have it on both pages or just one, it doesn't matter. Um, just leave room for yourself to write. You can even leave room for you to write again, like just on the page already um, with maybe some Posca pens or paint pens. Um, and I'll be doing some of that. This is a stamp set that I got from Amazon and I'm just going in here with a little bit of ink and just kind of putting some words on the page I like my pages to look really messy kind of junky and antique -y. I think that's the point right <laughs> um, and these are an alphabet stamp set that I got off of Amazon as well but yeah that's what I really like I like that aesthetic of just really looking like a complete and total mess <laughs> I mean you can see my desktop it's got paint all over it already and that's because I, I am messy with it. And I really like that. I like that look. I like that aesthetic. I'm hoping with my journaling process in these videos that I can help some of you out there who would like to learn how to journal and express themselves and heal their past trauma and deal with their inner self and 
the the inner critic and the inner voice that talks to them you know I, I'm trying to change the way that I speak to myself because I haven't been very kind to myself over the years and you know now that I am trying to build a career as an author it has become really hard to actually write the books that I want to write because again I have some blocks that I need to work through so I hope that this helps you guys and we can learn about this process along the way. Maybe I can teach you some tips and tricks and maybe you can teach me some as well. I really appreciate you joining me for this session. And I'm just trying to get this video up before the week is over. I think my videos in the future are going to be a little bit more planned and thought out. But if you have watched this far, I really do appreciate it. I'm brand new here. So of course, liking and subscribing is going to be very helpful to me. But if not, you can just watch the videos. I'm cool with that too. And again, I'm sorry for some of the out of frame shots. I will work on it. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.